explain. I don't even know how I'm going to say this because it's about to be long as hell. I just might be a black Bill Gates <laughs> in a make I it. it. I want it. to my channel so and if you like what you see stick around my name is Bella Malgul if you're here for the first time and this video is basically me creating this look and just talking to you guys about many different things about just myself life in general and just different things if that sounds like something you like then stick around and watch the entire video if not you can check out now which i would not want you to do so just stick around and hit the subscribe button and hit the bell beside the subscribe button so you always know when i post a video and hit the thumbs up i mean what's there not to like right so yeah i'll see you guys at the end of this video if you like what you see all right so without further ado let's get into the video so the first thing that i noticed that people i talk to or people that dm me talk about is being single when everyone else is in a relationship and how it makes them feel lonely and stuff like that well i'm just going to say this right to regards to that sometimes being single is not a bad thing how am i saying sometimes before anytime before you are ready being single is actually a blessing because that's the time you get to know yourself and get to discover many different things and just live life do you understand what i'm saying you don't hate the fact that you're single i get it sometimes i mean i'm single too but like sometimes i get where you want somebody to talk to and that very nice good morning text and all that i get it but like the period where you're single is not even time to be hoping or to be wishing for, for a relationship i feel like that's time to get to know yourself better know what you really like what you really don't like especially if you're a girl that has always been in relationships right figure out why you always want to be in a relationship do you have daddy issues like sometimes yeah, people don't even know their problems do you understand people just people don't know what's wrong with them like if you're always wanting to be in a relationship i think it's a problem i don't know maybe it's just me but i think that it's not a good thing to always 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 want to be in a relationship but you're always jumping from one relationship to another i feel like that means you're trying to fill some kind of void which i don't know what it is but of course i wouldn't know what it is but i feel like you're relationship hungry right now try and figure out why like what is it about this what the, what is it i feel like i'm missing that i'm not getting just because i'm single do you understand apart from the good money text and all those sweet nothings that guys tell you like what exactly is it are you really ready are you financially ready to be in a relationship because you know it's excellent <laughs> It's a hex sense to be in a relationship as a guy and as a babe. So think about all these things. And then if you feel like maybe you always want to be in a relationship because you feel like there's always something missing in your life, then I feel like you should try and fill that gap before you get a man because nobody can complete you, you complete yourself. So yeah, that's that about that. I mean, if you agree with what I just said, please leave a yes in the comment section. <laughs> yeah um next thing i want to talk to you guys about today is post uni depression because i apparently many of my subscribers are just getting out of uni or you know uh in their first year out of uni and i just want to say this that post uni depression thing is real and it's hit you so fast it's it's it's, it's crazy i'm going to be using the house of tara palette and i'm going to be using these two blue colors well for now that's why i feel like using so <laughs> anyway so you know that period where you graduate from uni right and then you do your nysc and the nysc year is over that period where you're still trying to figure your life out oh my god i can't even tell you guys how it feels but one thing i can say is this yeah because you know, depression is real but then we're all still trying to figure this out i don't feel like everybody has figured out their life and they've left you behind now man we're all still trying to figure it out there's some days when i'm like man i don't know if you know youtube is what i want to do no I don't, I don't question if youtube is what i want to do i just question if it is i don't know where it's going to lead me to that's just it and i'm one of those people that I like to be in control of everything like i need i like stability right so waking up and not knowing scares me but then i've learned that in life you can never know everything you can't and you can never be 100 percent in control of your situation of your environment anything you can never be 100 percent in control so i've just learned to let go and let go so 
when it comes to this post unit depression it usually comes because you're trying to you're you're feeling out of place you're feeling like oh so what am i doing now there's pressure from everywhere go and do your masters go and get a job go and do this go and do that and then it's like oh my god i don't even know if i want to do my masters if i want to get a job if I, I don't even know what i want to do you know what don't rush yourself trust me post uni you're probably you're between like 20 and 24 i guess at most or at the least let's say 19 19 and 25 right you still have a lot of time to figure out what you want to do don't don't get um pressured into doing what you don't want to do just because you're feeling like you're being left behind everybody's running we're all running the same race right but at different paces and we all hear instructions differently let me give you an illustration that i gave i can't remember who i was talking to but like i just i was what was i doing i think i finished studying in the morning like quiet time and i just it just came to me when i was feeling like i didn't understand what was going on in my life anymore the vision i got was this right we're all standing just imagine standing at the starting line for a race right and then the instruction is once you hear go start running right but everybody has different earphones on so you don't know when what's called so you don't hear when other people hear go right we all have different um timings so you know how during the race they have commented to the people in the crowd or whatever and then there's the person that tells you when to go right so just imagine that that guy is god right and he's the one that gives all the instructions so you're standing there in line like you start the line with like maybe 120 other people so at different points in time everybody starts running starts running starts running this person goes this person goes this person and then you're standing there you're like uh, okay they're going to get there before me they're going to get there before me and then you're anxious about getting there you're so anxious about getting there that you're not preparing for when you're actually here go and that's very important so you keep standing there and you're like okay can i go now at first you know when you first start with you're still okay soon be my turn soon be my turn but then when you wait like a year two years three years it's like i beg my turn will never come but just keep waiting don't be one of those people that before you hear go you already start running only to find out that you're back you just did a full circle just wasted energy time that like you could have prepared yourself you could have been tying your shoelace you could have been flexing you could have been doing different things don't be one of those people do you get what I'm saying? And I know that sometimes you'd be like, God, can I go now? And he's like, no, just hold on. Can I go now? And he's like, no, just hold on. Just trust that hold on that he says. Trust it. Because I promise you, there's nothing better than knowing that you have God's approval to do whatever you're doing. Because everything is just going to be so easy for you. It will be unreal. Like, people will be jealous of how easy life is for you. And sometimes God is saying, wait, because maybe... You know we're all running this race, right? Some people are on foot, some people are in cars. Maybe your own. It's a private jet that's going to come and pick you. Calm down. It takes time to fuel a private jet. Calm down. Calm down. When God doesn't say go, don't go. Meanwhile, don't just stand there doing nothing, right? Prepare yourself. Don't stay idle. Like now, if you are not in school, um, post uni, post NYC, right? Don't just stay at home and sit down and do nothing. Start a blog. Start learn how to cook. Learn how to sew. Learn, you know, there are different things to do. Don't just be idle at home. Do you get? Even if you're not so interested in it right now, the interest will come. Just start. Do you get what I'm saying? Just don't be idle at home because idleness will lead to depression because you always feel like you're not being productive and you feel like everybody else is going ahead of you and blah, 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 blah. And that just leads to depression so start something who cares if if what you start doesn't succeed or whatever at least it's keeping you busy as as that right now and you never know where that could take you do you understand so don't just sit down at home because you are you are done with uni and there's nothing okay maybe no money to go for masters or you don't even know what you want to master safe so what's the point don't just sit down at home do something help somebody else if you have like a if you have an auntie or an uncle that has a company offer to help out try to get internships just try it and then if you're one of those people that don't want the 95 you want to be an entrepreneur that's cool but you have to remember that entrepreneurs put in a lot of work into what they do so you need to put in work into what you do as well anyway that's that about that be patient but while you're being patient don't be idle don't just sit down there doing nothing i'm saying Oh, my time hasn't come yet or oh i don't know what to do try out different things you never really know okay that's just my advice when it comes to that so the next thing i want to talk about is people that feel stuck 
in whatever they are doing or wherever they are here's the thing yeah there's a reason why when god made us he made us with hands and legs you are never stuck do you understand you are never ever stuck all it takes is one decision you just have to decide you know what i'm done with this and that's it honestly that is just it just decide that you're done if something doesn't feed your happiness anymore why are you still there I don't get it. Why are you still there? You are not stuck to any job, any person, any friendship, any relationship. Nah, man. No, you're not. So don't do that to yourself saying, oh, I'm just stuck in this situation. Or I feel stuck in this life. Or do you understand what I'm saying? Nah, man. You're never stuck. Never, ever, ever. Somebody DM me, I was talking about how she feels like she's stuck in the life that she's in. And I'm like, why? And she told me what was wrong. And I'm just like, you know what i don't mean to belittle your problems but this is a small issue honestly don't let your mind trick you into thinking there's no other way out or the other way out is such a is, is such a mile away do you understand what i'm saying trust me the way out is right there all you need to do is decide that you know what i'm not taking this anymore i'm done with it and you try it as it so you're never stuck you're not a tree yeah 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 full body human being if a relationship doesn't serve you anymore, walk away. I don't care how much time you put into it. Guess what? Every day you stay, you're adding more time. So do you really, do you really want to spend more time in a relationship that doesn't serve you or leave that relationship and then invest in something that actually serves who you are? It is the worst feeling to be stuck, so don't let yourself get into that space at all. I'm really feeling this blue. This is from the House of Tara, um, Margaret Echo Palette. Oh my gosh, yes. Growing up is kind of hard. Like, they never told us about this part of this, the uncertainty part. The part of the question ourselves every day is crazy. It's like, I didn't get the memo for this part. <laughs> but it's all good. It's all good. I believe that if our parents can do it, we can do it too. You know? I feel like we'll all be alright at the end of the day. You just have to be patient. You know, that's another thing. We're always wanting to to have what people have worked for for years to have like sometimes i get frustrated i'm like oh my gosh i want my youtube channel to be popping i want my 20k subscribers now you know i want my 100k now and i'm like people that have 20k and 100k they've been doing this for years like some people have been doing this on their what's it called on their social media platforms on like maybe ig or twitter or whatever i just started and i just started on youtube straight like i didn't have a social media following or whatever like that or like people that have like you get what i'm saying i didn't have any social media following before this not any but like i just had a few it wasn't like i had a community of people that were behind me already right so i'm here shouting 20k 100k blah 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 all oh my many many subscribers but at the end of the day there's a process right and i have to trust the process i have to trust that you know what one day it's be my turn and when my turn comes everybody nobody's going to second guess me nobody's going to say she even what did she even do because people are going to be like okay she deserves it she has like years under her value you know what i'm saying that's another thing in this life eh, you just have to be patient because if you're not patient kai you everything will frustrate you if you're not patient you just have to learn that sometimes it's your neighbor's turn sometimes it's your turn and the thing is when you see your neighbor or your friend flourish, instead of being jealous, be happy for them. Because that means God is in your environment. You might be next. It might be you, it might be your other neighbor, but he is in your environment. So everybody will get blessed in last, last. Imagine if God comes to you, let's say your streets where you live. Ha. Of course you will be blessed. As long as you are there, you will get blessed. So don't even be jealous of other people at all. Because it's very easy to see other people and be envious and be feeling like, what did they even do to be David safe? What is it about her? What is it? Why is she so fine? Why is she so this? Why is she so that? Don't be envious of people. You never know what they are facing on a daily. Do you understand? You never know and you will never ever know. Speaking of don't be envious, um, what's it called? When you start to see people and feel some type of way about them, check yourself. Like if you see a girl just on her own, minding her business and everything. Sorry. What this is? It's draining my blood. <laughs> yeah, what was I saying? When you see people and you're envious about them off the path without even knowing anything about them, check yourself. You might be having a moment of insecurity and that's okay. 
but just don't reflect your insecurities on other people like what well, okay let me give an example like you see a girl here yeah, she's popping her makeup is fine she's this is that you never spoken to her before but when your friends bring her up like maybe let's let's say your friend says ah have you heard about this girl she's so fine blah 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 have you seen her blah blah blah, blah. and then next thing they're like i beg i beg i beg she's rude she's actually very snobbish and then they're like ha ah, what did you do to you if you have good friends some other people will just be like hey, she's very snobbish mm, this one mm, that one and then be joining into this the girl or i or whatever don't be like that right so if you have good friends and you say ah what did she do to you stuff like that and you say stuff like i bet she didn't do anything i just don't like her my spirit just doesn't go with that mm. check yourself you're jealous you're envious just calm down your time will come to people to see you and celebrate you don't be angry to another person okay okay it's okay to feel envious especially like there's some days when when i catch myself sleeping up right and talking bad about somebody because i do it sometimes sometimes i do it especially when it's another woman i feel bad after a while because i'm like i'm not supposed to you know talk bad about anybody talk less of a woman just like me it makes me feel some type of way honestly i would even like and I realize that times when I start gossiping about somebody or talking shit about somebody, I'm most likely just not feeling good about myself. Because every time I feel great about myself, I don't have time to talk about nobody, you know. I see another woman, I compliment her, whether she say thank you, she not say thank you, consign you. I keep me pushing, you know what I mean. But when I see another woman and I start eyeing her up and down, I know that it's coming from place of insecurity, so I check myself. So yeah, don't be, don't be a nasty nasty. You guys, I want to ask you something. Why do you think women are so competitive with each other? Like, why does everything have to be some form of competition with the other when it comes to women? Like, why are we always competing with each other? I feel like this is my own answer, but I want to know what you guys think. I feel like it's because from when we were really young, everything is already a competition. It's like, can I breathe? <laughs> it's like, there's always, okay, finance girl. You know, stuff like that. It's like, I don't know, why does everything have to be a competition? I'm just thinking out loud, you guys. So I did video, that's basically what I'm doing. I don't even know how I'm going to this because it's about to be long. Yeah. By the way, do you guys believe in karma? I'm so everywhere in this video. I don't even know if you guys will enjoy it or not because I'm just talking, talking from off the top of my head. Well, let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Do you guys believe in karma? Let me know in the comment section. Oh yeah, I can't take you anyway with you guys right right now. Do you believe in karma? Let me know. I don't know. I think that karma is a scam. <laughs> I I know that whatever you sow, you reap. Right? I've always been be, been the girl that believed in karma, but somehow recently, I've just been like, there are some people that not reap any bad karma. Off. And then again, if God forgives you, do you think you still have karma? I don't know, like bad karma, that's what I mean. And then again, there are some people that have done good all their lives, right? And good doesn't come to them. So, so what happens to their own karma? Did they get misplaced or what? I don't know. It's just like, like what happened? What Instagram pages do you guys follow that motivates you? I kind of want to know because I'm trying to, you know, have this like positive energy vibe going on in my life. You know, just trying to surround myself with positivity because there's so much negative stuff going on in life right now because like you put on you turn on tv there's news about how this one has happened that man has raped a nine-year-old girl or this country is being bombed or some some negative stuff so i'm just like you know what i'm going to protect my space because i can't have stuff like this circling around me i believe in energies and i don't want no bad energy around me so i'm trying to like have motivational quotes on my Phone and like just do I don't know stuff that leads to my soul not there's too much um, Negativity in the world right now. So let me know what Instagram pages do you guys follow that are like super motivational and Even if they're not motivational pages like pages that inspire you just let me know because I'm trying to learn And I'm trying to like do better for myself because nobody's going to do better for me except me What kind of content will you guys like me to? post more on, on my channel because i think i need to ask you guys questions because you're the ones watching so let me know what kind of content would you like to see more often on my channel do you want more fun uh, makeup tutorials like those ones where i did playlists or 
do you want i don't know just let me know what you want if you want vlogs let me know what kind of vlogs you want do you want to see me going to go and eat do you want to see me going to chill with friends what do you want to see because honestly content creation is one of the hardest jobs in this world <laughs> i'll tell you especially when you don't have any form of training for it or whatever it's like so hard and it's so intense because like i have my business journal my work journal whatever and let me tell you that journal if anything happens to it i can paint <laughs> i'm just everywhere in this video man if you don't want to listen to me just chat away then you probably shouldn't watch in this video um yeah i was talking about what was i able to i don't even know you guys i lost my train of thought <laughs> This video is literally just me doing my makeup, man. So if you enjoy watching me do my makeup, then come in. Happy watching. Girls, what you just hit it when you're doing your eyeliner, right? And then one eye sits, one eyeliner sits so perfectly, and the other one is just mis miscombobulating. <laughs> I don't even know what the hell that means. <laughs> anyway, what I mean is the other one is misbehaving. I don't know what miscombobulate, but whatever I said it's supposed to mean, but. <laughs> this is the best highlighter I have ever used in my life. It's called Gold Deposits by MAC. Really nice highlighter. Alrighty, so I am done with this look and with my get ready with me video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm so sorry that I was so all over the place. I just really just wanted to talk and just express myself and how I feel and just, you know, talk about a few things. And like I have so much more to talk about. And it's now that I'm done with the video that I'm now remembering things that I said I'll talk about to you guys. So it's just sad. But anyway, it's all good. I hope you guys like this look. I think it's very seductive. <laughs> I think it's very seductive. I really like it. I think it's very intense and lovely. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell. So you can get notifications when i upload videos also um if you like this video give this video a thumbs up if you didn't like this video give this video a dislike so i know what you guys like and do not like follow me on instagram i'm mostly active there most of the times like that's where you can reach out to me on social media be good to people be kind you know we're all struggling and dealing with one thing or the other so make sure you're kind to everybody that you meet and i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video bye